All right, hello, this Queen of Pentacles, Tarot 333. Let's see the energy. Let's look at the energy. Let's see. Let's see the energy. Let's see. Eight of Cups. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I feel like it's time, Eight of Cups. That's what the energy is. Um, somebody could be thinking about leaving, moving on, or just left, walked away from a certain situation here, but they look, they don't look happy about it. You can see the little moon right here, and this person walking away. Um, it's like they left a lot of things behind, yeah. And they don't look happy about it right there, because the moon looks in. So, I feel like this person could have been going through something like karma. Uh, whatever. Um, something could have had to do with a family here. I feel like somebody got like bad news. They left something behind. Work a little life here. Um, yeah, they feel some type of way or something like that. You could have been dealing with somebody who uh or something that you know just didn't serve you here. I mean, it seemed like whatever kind of situation it was, it was just um not going anywhere. That's what I'm saying. Um, I feel like it's time here, this is a karmic relationship, it's like somebody walked away because, um, of a past or something like that, okay, or something that could have happened in the past, this person could have lost something, like, yeah, this person's taking something hard, though, um, the way they walked away, they got their back turned, they ain't trying to show their face or nothing here with the little red jacket on, so, you know, I feel like at this time, it was like, I know it's time to walk away. I'm done and everything like that, but I don't really want to. Um, but, okay. And then, um, oh, shut up. Okay, I feel like in this time here, somebody was being sneaky with a situation or something like that here. It was feeling like something wasn't fair either at this time. So, it's like this person had to watch their back here. Man or woman, you know, it could be you or the other person I'm talking about, whatever. But, um, I feel like in this time here, it's like something about communication and everything like that here. Maybe somebody just got tired of watching their back here. Here, you know, and walk, went ahead and, you know, left a certain situation behind because something was not right here. So, I feel like at this time here, it almost looked like either you could be in another sort of energy or they can, but I feel like it's them. I'm looking at this person here. And, okay, so the communication could have got bad between you and this other person here. Two. Or it's going to get bad because something getting bad. Something, the communication is bad. Now I'm looking at this like, um, somebody was worried about, somebody who didn't really want to go nowhere, didn't want to walk away, was worried about, um, I want to say, hold on, let me see. They could have been worried about losing something here. There could have been some threats in this situation too. Let me see. Let's keep going. I see somebody here like, yeah, the communication could be bad between either you and another person or somebody around you. Don't have to be you. Could have been a little fighting, arguing. Somebody could have been calling somebody out on their ways, being sneaky here. Um, this person could be showing up like the boss here and this other person was feeling kind of stuck trapped and everything like that here and somebody was getting angry it could be like the other person getting angry here this person see you as like the boss or whatever but i kind of feel like somebody was doing something like giving something to somebody else giving it to okay ace of pentacles um i feel like you're going to be getting like a new beginning a bunch a big new beginning here but i feel like he was looking at somebody like um I feel like you could have been looking at this person or this person could have been looking at the situation like, you know, 
I rather walk away than to deal with this drama. You know, and somebody looking at you like, I don't know what's wrong with you. Here, uh, they look like they can't sleep to me. Here, I feel like money could have been tied up in this situation too, work, love, life, but, you know, I feel like at this time here, somebody looking at something like, um, well, I feel like, so somebody broke your heart. So somebody did you dirty, broke your heart. Here, I feel like, you was in a situation where you was just like, I'm not feeling this. Here, work, love, well, life. Somebody could have lost something too. Like the job, work. Um, it could have been some, a little bit of codependency in this situation. I just heard that's what they loved about you. You wasn't codependent on nobody or something like that. Yeah. Something could have been about money, a ending, a loss. Like, mm, to me, To me, this could have been like a um, somebody trying to leave somebody behind who needed them here, or a situation that you needed, or they needed somebody needed this situation though. You know, if it was a job, they lost it. If it was a relationship, they was losing it. You know, if it was life all around, they were still losing it. Um, I feel like you felt like you know this situation didn't serve you, so you just moved on here. Two, I feel like at this time here, something new was coming for you and everything like that, but whatever you was dealing with, especially if it was a relationship, um, was already stuck with another situation from the past, with a person that they needed to give to. So, hmm, it almost looked like this person wasn't ready to go and they pissed off because they had to leave. So, I mean... It's almost like it's, it's another person involved in this situation. And so by another person being involved in this situation, the other person rather stay in a situation where, I mean, the love or the situation wasn't happy at all. But the other person could have been like really needing this person. These two people weren't on the same page or nothing like that. But, um... So somebody decided to like go back and forth with you, go somewhere else, and the other person got really jealous. Here they were really sad, they couldn't sleep or nothing. They walking behind the other person like they need them too, and like they're afraid of an ending. Here's something about commitment. So I even feel like this person was like whining to this other person, asking this person, like, will you marry me? You know, well, you know, they wanted something more from this other person, but the other person wasn't giving it to them. But they the other person was like, you know. I'd rather walk away because I feel like somebody was in the third party. Somebody was in a little triangle. And I feel like they had to betray you or something like that here, you know, for another person that they hated. So it's almost like they, they'd rather stay miserable in their other life than to be with you because they had too much tied up in it. Um, I feel like this person could be really aggravated at this time, too. Possibly because somebody ate a cup, somebody and walked away and moved on here and left some something behind, which they look really sad about it. Commitment. So you and this person could have got along like really good and everything like that, but um, this other person used to um being supported by this other person and everything like that. So I feel like they was treating the other person some type of way. The other person realized it. So the other person got real clingy to their energy, really clingy to their energy, like that. <laughs> I mean, it ain't funny, but this other person was like, where you going? You know, right here, I'm not gonna show all the cards, y'all know how it go. Um, the other person was like, where you going? And everything like that. And the other person was like, oh God, I gotta be show this person some, some kind of attention because this other person going to cut up That's some conflict, fussing and fighting and arguing and everything like that. This person right here actually want to be with you and everything like that, but they stick it in, in the middle of somebody who needs them or like who they've been with for a long time and this other person has started getting jealous and maybe started even noticing. Yes, they started noticing the other person's behavior. So, you know, this don't even have to be a love interest. It could be like a mother figure or something like that. Yeah. 
mother figure, father figure, or whoever that was clinging to this person energy. So this person was like, oh God, oh God, I'm losing it. So the other person was like, oh God, oh God, I'm losing it. And everything like that, I'm about to lose my person because something had to do with money because the five of pentacles is fixed around money issues and everything like that. So this other person started checking on them, watching them, you know, calling them, blowing their phone up, everything like that. They wouldn't get no answer or nothing like that. So they was like, I got to find a way to set this person up and everything like that. I see money too. Something could have something to do with money. So it could be like an income difference or this person was like a liability to lose this other person or something like that. Yeah. It's so weird because I kind of feel like not for everybody. But I'm seeing that Eight of Cups move on. Yeah, four of ones here. Even though, okay, even if it wasn't a marriage, you know how people be like, well, they wasn't married. It's something that they was tied to, though, even if they wasn't married. Um, other people could have been in this situation, too, family or whatever. So... But for some people, this person was already married and had lied about being married right now. Or in a relationship. They were married to somebody else. But I, like I said, it don't have to be like um, a, or a person that they was tied to with marriage. Okay. My ears is ringing. So I feel like this there could have been like a lot of fights. This person it, like was in their head and everything like that. So when this person walked away and moved away from the situation, maybe it was some kind of mental conflict. So it was like, I'm not sure if I should walk away, but I know I should because the situation not serving me. Something wasn't serving this person here. Now, someone could be a Virgo, a Scorpio, that's what I'm seeing. Leave a Gemini Aquarius, Sagittarius Leo. Um this yeah whoa yeah so and i see an aries for some reason i feel like this person's gonna come back and try to say something to you apologize or whatever but it's like you wasn't ready for um nothing serious like he was like, nah, if you can't give me your time or energy or anything like that, I don't want it. Somehow you felt neglected or didn't feel right about this situation with love life. Um, yeah, somebody here could be a boss. So for some reason here, I do feel like this person would rather have, you know, left you alone, rejected you or whatever like that. Break up, broke up, break up with you. Or something like that than to be with you because they couldn't get rid of the other person yeah i see a mother figure here um this mother figure or daughter sister something like that um this person wanted to keep this other person stuck with them possibly because of finances or something like that so this, well this other person looking at you like a star or like somebody special to them. Here. This other person to me looked like they was in love with you and everything like that. But because of all the threats and like drama or um, they ended something with you. They had to work together with the ops. <laughs> um, they had to work together with the opposing side here and somebody walked away and they was really sad i'm not laughing but i'm seeing that they rather had worked together with the opposing side or the side that wasn't right here because this other person was trying to keep this person stuck the communication could have been bad between you and this other person so yeah so this other person could have been threatening this person been on this person back or something like that yeah because this person turning their back right here in the red right here <laughs> Um, let me see. Um, okay, 
if it's a job, somebody was going to get like a public recognition at work, and somebody felt like you was in competition with them, so they set up a plan to ruin you and everything like that. Let's talk about work. Let's talk about work, baby. So somebody was setting up a plan to like sabotage you here too because they saw you getting like a public recognition at work. It was really bothering them so bad that you came off like a threat to them. So they decided they wanted to leave. They wanted you to leave and you some kind of way. Because they went happy. Yeah. Um, wow, they probably saw you getting a lot of recognition real fast or something like that. So this person look jealous of you. You probably weren't even in competition with them. This person probably had more than you, was higher than you, higher up than you, or something like that. With the, with the system or whatever, with the program or whatever. But it's something they saw you get. It's something they saw you get and some kind of recognition or whatever here where they felt like you didn't deserve it and they did because this this kind of person just like to feel like they on top of it. So they got angry, they got mad. They could have been trying to cause some kind of problems with you and everything like that. Libra strong here, y'all, in this reading. Libra, Aries, Taurus, Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo, that's why I said the Virgo. Um, Pisces and Scorpio. So, I feel like at this time here, so somebody had to come up with some kind of plan or whatever, because they didn't want to see you get whatever they thought they was, you know, they was entitled to. They didn't. I feel like at this time, you proved yourself to be above all of it, above all of them, all of it, whatever, but this person decided to cause some kind of drama with you. And everything like that here. Be careful because somebody probably going to try to cause some kind of drama. Or something like that with somebody at their job. Like this person feels threatened by you or something. And is jealous of you. Here. So you only thinking about your finances, your money. Somebody could be putting in work, putting in overtime. And everything like that here. But they ain't realize that they had somebody jealous of them. Right here. So this person don't even care if they lose their job by starting this shit, starting drama or whatever like that. All they care about is you losing and hurting you. So it's some kind of codependent activity. So let's go back to love. This person that loves you. Or whatever, and then started trying to treat you funny because of somebody from their past here. They worried about it. They stressed out. They can't sleep or nothing like that. They really bothered here. They thinking about whatever you did for them, how you made them feel good because see you were yelling. So they was using your energy and everything like that. But I feel like you was like, you know, I'm not happy with this situation because there's another person in this situation too. Because you can tell the way this person was at. So, a new beginning with money. So, I feel like you started, like, concentrating on your finances, money. My throat getting dry. <laughs> I woke up. Like, I needed to get up. I couldn't sleep. So, you, yeah. Concentrate on your work here. Put in the work here. There's a message for somebody here. You know, there's nothing going to go well for you if you don't put in the effort work. You know, I ain't trying to bring religion in, in this, but God blesses effort. So you got to put the effort in. Um, you could be needing to work on your money here. I do feel like you have some kind of haters or something like that. Somebody sending you the evil eye. Your money could have been looking funny. You could have been dealing with somebody low rate. Low vibrational and everything like that here. Whoa. And as long as you're around that person, your money was going down. Losing it because spirit was trying to warn you about something. Okay. So 
I feel like whatever decision, if you feel like it's a decision where you have to move away, because the first card is eight of clubs, move on, walk away from a situation, don't feel stuck or nothing like that, you can't avoid a tower. Okay, so since you can't avoid a tower, you know, this situation may have to be put to a risk some kind of way, five of pentacles, leave it alone. I'm going to be honest, in a relationship or whatever kind of situation, you had somebody watching you, spying on you, everything like that, that's mad and pissed off and they ready to cause some kind of drama with you and everything like that because some somebody saw you as something special. Like I said, it don't have to be an ex or nothing like that. It could be like a family member or whatever, but somebody was like seeking out to sabotage you. This person is very needy. The other person felt like they was losing something in this situation, so I don't know why, but they rather get on this other person's nerves or something like that. They rather do that because well, the reason why they rather like fuck with this person and everything like that because they got a lot to lose from this person. There's some losing energy here. So somebody was worried about losing something to you. So, it don't matter. Somebody gonna watch you get success, be successful because I feel like you're moving forward with success. You're gonna be happy and everything like that here. But somebody jealous of you is watching you and wanna bring you down and everything like that. They going crazy and everything. They see you as a threat. They real jealous. Yeah, I mean, no sense how jealous this person look. Um, this person could actually want to talk to you and everything like that with conflict behind them. Mm -hmm. I feel like the other person does, like, you know, especially if it's a relationship, the other person is calling the shots so bad to the point where, hold on. Well, to the point where <clears throat> it might blow up in their face. So they're like, work with me, work with me. I feel betrayed. I feel like I'm left out in the cold here. So the other person was like, if you're dealing with this other person and everything like that, I don't want nothing to do with you no more. And I'm real desperate and everything like that. So the other person, I was kept wondering why I kept seeing the Seven of Swords. So the other person was like, I need to sneak back and say something to you, but you walking away like I don't know about that because you know somebody else involved in this situation. Work, love, life, ex-wife, wife, ex-husband, something like that, mama, sister, somebody, but daughter, child, you know, son or whatever, but somebody causing something to sabotage a situation. Mm hmm so, these other people could have been arguing and everything like that, too. But somebody was arguing about you, I see that. The other person was like, move on. So, the other person was like, oh, God, I got to move on from this person. But I don't really say it. So, I feel like something going to blow up in somebody's face here. He ever noticed, like, even if it's a job. And somebody was being like real picky towards you and everything like that. Once you quit, everybody quit. So the other person like, just leave me alone. Okay, I'll do what you say. And everything like that. Even though this person saw you as like the sun, the chariot. Somebody could be dealing with Leo or um, Cancer. The magician. They saw you as manifesting. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Which is a Gemini. Hold on. Ooh. Then I see a Scorpio and a Capricorn in the league. So happiness. I feel like you're comfortable and happy, you know, just in your own body and, you know, with your own self. Ooh. Be careful, though. I feel like at this time here, there was some, like, 
obsessive, codependent energy here, manipulative, crazy energy here, or something like that. And somebody was like, I'm trying to figure out what, what I need to do, which way I need to go, or something like that. So, I'm not going to lie. If you had sex with this person, you got to be careful because somebody going to wind up being a baby daddy, baby mama. I see a pregnancy here. Now, I also see that if they were leaving somebody, like an ex-wife, ex-husband, this person going to try to get you pregnant or somebody could get pregnant here or lie about getting pregnant here because somebody telling little lies here to cause some kind of drama or something like that to get somebody to move on, leave you alone. They saying everything, even if it ain't about pregnancy, to get somebody to move on, leave you alone, something like that, start shit, here, get this person to ignore you, whatever. So you probably noticed that the energy was different and someone was changing up on you. It's like you sitting between, now if this a job, it's like you sitting between a whole bunch of people and you know, or a situation, even like, but you're feeling like, uh-uh, this don't feel right. Like, oh, wow, I've seen this before. Hold on a minute. All right, Miami. See, this person could, you could relieve stress, heal people. Make things better for folks. Somebody, somebody knew that too. It felt like he was a threat. Hey. Hey. There's no replacing what we had. Okay, so, like I said, this situation could blow up in the other person's face like crazy because the other person talked shit to this other person here. Like I said about this um drama, jealousy. Yeah, my ears is ringing. It stopped now. And I had to wake up, so. So, this other person that look desperate as I don't know what. And it's something like they had something on the other person. Huh? Maybe this person did a lot for this other person here. Or some, something. I even feel like somebody had insurance on this other person. Um. Yeah, they're scared. But so, yeah, they're scared because this other person had um, something on this other person. It says attention. To get attention. They, they do anything to get attention from this other person. Anything. And it worked. Obviously, it worked, but the other person is miserable, sad. Yup. The other person. For some reason, it's going to backfire on this other person. I see an argument. Because somebody saw you as life. Man or woman, somebody saw you as life. They complaining about you. They found love. Found, found in you. Love in you. Oh, running from confrontation. Fifteen, fifteen. They miserable now. I wouldn't even want to be around this person. Um, cause I feel like the other person right here threatening this other person so bad. They should have did that because they, they should just walk away, move on, walk away. Think of me. I knew you was gonna hurt me. So now you're sorry, yeah. So they had to please the other person and everything like that, but they're coming back to tell you that they care about you, that they're sorry and everything. Yeah, I, I see that real clearly. Um, Some of y'all going to accept the situation. Music. They feel like the other person don't support them on nothing, but I feel like you had supported them on everything because... You make it better when it hurts. Oh, um, that's so sweet. But they can't stand on their own two feet. 
or nothing like that, or stand up to this other person right here that's causing drama because this other person got something over their head too. Yeah, this person was doing everything to get this person attention here. To make this person, yeah, they walking behind this person like in a weird way. Uh -huh. Yeah, they need to be there for the other person. To help this other person. Okay, so for instance, I got a story, and this man me of the story from years ago. I think I told it to one of my clients or something like that. Okay. But when I was in school, I had this um young guy, you know, I was real young. You know, it was like writing letters like do you love me? Yes or no? Circle yes or circle no if you love me or something. So, there was a little boy. He was like, you want to be my girlfriend? I was like, yeah. And, I, but he didn't tell me he had a girlfriend. <laughs> so, as soon as she found out about me, she started crying, cutting up real bad. And I can't even remember the little boy's name because I was so young. That was like, you know, school little crush. You know, I never did nothing with him or nothing. It was just like little kid stuff. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll be your little girlfriend. And then all of a sudden, I'm in the bathroom. Took a bathroom break. And I see the girl coming through the bathroom. She was like, ain't it crazy? <laughs> And I stayed to myself, so I'm looking around like, I don't know, what's wrong with this girl probably? She was a real pretty girl, though. So he came to me like two days later and said, we broke up, okay? We, I can't be your boyfriend because my girlfriend's going to get mad. I said, girlfriend, you got a girlfriend? So later on, I remember I was walking past my grandmother's house. And this was like a couple years later. I saw him and her. You know. And she was pushing a, a baby stroller. But we were so young. I'm like, who baby is that? You know what I'm saying? So, come to find out that was her baby. Him and her baby. Or, or somebody baby. But she was the kind of girl that would do anything to keep him to get attention. So he broke up with me. He left me alone. And when I saw him again, he had like, first I saw him with one kid. And then I saw him with another baby in a stroller. Two kids. They looked like they were poor. They looked almost homeless and everything. But he had made the choice like to go towards her. And he wound up, like, losing everything because he looked like he was just miserable. When I, He didn't know I saw him because I was, you know, trying to avoid even looking that way. But when I saw him, it was like she trapped him with a baby and everything. Now, I ain't going to say everybody trap people with babies, but some people do try to do that. But um, I remember when he told me that she was crying and I was like, okay, I don't want to get in a fight with nobody. I don't fight for people and everything like that. But this person was so desperate to lose that boy that I saw her walking with a stroller one year with one baby. And then the next year, I saw her with two kids. And like I said, we was young, young. So we was really young. So I was shocked that I saw her. Her, even with a baby shoot, I was still playing with baby dolls. So, rejection is God's protection. Sometimes if you lose a certain situation or it walks away or it leaves, it's supposed to. It ain't meant for you. Alright? Well, I'm Queen of Pentacles 333. 